Hello everyone, it's Jen from Old Tinker Studio. In this tutorial, we will be making a low poly train caboose and adding materials to the train. This will be a multi-tutorial series where we make a low poly train and then animate it along the track. Add a cube and move it to the back of the boxcar. Then scale the cube to the desired size for a caboose. Duplicate the wheels from the box car and then align them to the caboose. And temporarily hide the box car. Duplicate the steps, the handrail, and the handbrake from the passenger car. And align these duplicates to the front of the caboose. Add two horizontal loop cuts to the caboose. Then scale the loop cuts to the desired height of the door. And add two vertical loop cuts for the door. And scale the loop cuts along the Y axis to the size of the door. Select the interface of the door and inset it. Then extrude the face along the x-axis toward the center of the caboose. Add a horizontal loop cut to the center of the caboose. Then add 10 horizontal loop cuts for the windows. Select two faces toward the front and two faces toward the rear of the caboose on both sides. Then inset the faces.
and extrude the faces along the y-axis toward the center of the caboose. Select the center top three faces and extrude them along the z-axis. Select the faces on both ends, on both sides, inset them. Then extrude the faces along the y-axis toward the center of the caboose. I'll select the top faces of the caboose. and extrude them along the z-axis. Let's select the outer face loop. and extrude them to form the overlap for the roof. Now unhide the box car. And duplicate the link and pig completes from the section between the box car and the passenger car. Then align the couplings between the rear of the boxcar and the caboose. Under the shading workspace, rename the default material to metal. Add a dark color to the metal material. Change the metallic to 0 0.8 and the roughness to 0 0.3. Add a new material and name it window. Select a color. Change the metallic to 0 0.5 and assign the material to all the windows on the train. Add a new material and name it cab. Select a color.
change the roughness to 0 0.8 and the metallic to 0 0.0 then assign the material to the cab including the doors Now continue to make new materials and assign them to the various parts of the train. And there we have our completed train. I hope you found this useful. Have a good day.